Today I'm going to redesign my favorite part so far. And some of you might recognize what this is. It's for my DIN rail to mount it on the surface. However, today I would like to um, redo this a bit and see how long it takes me. Uh, so I can kind of mount it on the rack. I've used uh, some of the parameters from the kind of uh, uh, rack spec. Uh, and these are legit. I double checked with my server rack here at home. So what I need to do is to uh, get rid of some of these first. Because I guess they'll be in the way. Now I need to stretch it out a notch. So obviously we go to the lovely sketch. I don't want any auto updates. Yes. As I already mentioned, I took the uh, measurements before. And I kind of remember now. Sad, I know. And uh, so this might be rather smooth. I don't actually know. Okay, this is to be expected because of my side cutting was uh, to match the previous size. So side cut, I guess. Yes, this is this is this is the place. And if I go with twenty millimeters, a bit too much. Let's go with nineteen. Eighteen. Okay. 18.2 <laughs> yes obviously so again here 18.2 learning something every day so now there should be nothing perfect what I need to do now is to move the holes to the uh, proper uh, locations so I'll start with the left hole First of all, I'm using an M6 on the rack. That's what is uh, what I checked today. That's what it should be. Now, this should be 30.2 millimeters. So that's been moved. And uh, what else? For, for the kits, I can potentially remove this one get it down to what a 10 okay uh, that's great so I'm not I haven't, haven't even planned this but I'm going to uh, uh, let's make it a nice 10 I'm going to move the holes as well a bit down so when it mounts it's a bit more flush uh, you'll see once the entire thing is done. So that's perfect. That's exactly what I was after. So now I need to do the same with the right hole. No biggie. So three millimeters in radius. Get rid of this one and shove it down. So it's at the 10. Uh, lovely and the distance should be 30.2 very good now i can uh, constrain this with this line it uh, should be 10 perfect that uh, is absolutely brilliant now the distance between them two centers should be 60.5 Four sixty point three millimeters, something to that tune. So I'm just gonna eyeball it, just just like that. And uh, oh, why not? Just go with apply a constraint here, and see how much it tells me. Yes, <laughs> sixty point forty one. That's nearly perfect. Apart from my uh, terrible eyeballing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> awesome so that is it that's it try doing that in Tinkercad this quickly and and commenting at the same time so now while I'm here I can just go a bit uh, crazy and go with a little lovely chamfer for the bolt 
if I can get the mouse to work today that would be great and also the most important thing to me are these because that's how you get the uh, oh, obviously at the end forgot that bit that's how you get the uh, din rail in boom done so this is how remarkably easy it is to modify a project and I'll be 3d printing this today or tomorrow it's kind of late now so I'll I'll share with you the results of it and uh, yeah that's it for today thanks for watching and <laughs> good night